Welcome to the lair of the Batty Boffin. Hello Batty fans and it's time for another one of the weather series of science videos from the Batty Boffin. Today's video we're going to be making a rain gauge. It's something you can easily make at home and then start recording the weather. To do this you'll need some common household bits and bobs. Two litre pop bottle or mineral water, something like that, easily available from every supermarket. You'll need some scissors and wide sellotape, a ruler and a permanent marker, per a set of permanent markers if you want to decorate it, and some filler, kind of polyfiller kind of things. Other brands are available. Plus you'll need some water and a jug for mixing it up in. So what we're going to be doing is collecting our rain in this and then just recording how far it goes. A couple of problems with these bottles. For a start, it's got a very small bit at the top, so not much rain is going to get in. And it's got this wobbly bit at the bottom, so it's going to be really hard to measure the amount of rain there. Also, of course, they're highly unstable. So here's how we're going to convert this into a useful rain gauge. First of all, we're going to cut off the top. And we're going to cut it off at the level of where it starts becoming straight. So the easiest way to do that is to just pinch it and give it a chop. And then when you've done that, can go round, all the way round. Try and keep it fairly level if you can, and keep the top because you'll need that section. Okay, so there's our rain gauge. Um, next thing we need to do is make it stable at the bottom. We also need a level datum, uh, a point at which we can call our zero. And to do that we're going to use our filler. So put an amount of the powder filler into here, mix it up with some water till you've got a fairly sloppy mixture and we're just going to pour that in and it wants to fill it to the level at which it becomes straight. So when you've done that, in the best Blue Peter tradition, here's one I prepared earlier. So here we have got it with the filler at the bottom. Next thing you're going to do is put your gauge on. So for this we want a ruler. Make sure that the zero on your ruler is level with the plaster. So there it is. You're going to draw a line up here and mark off the centimetres. And when you've done that, it should look like that. Um, I've gone up to 10. You can go up higher if you want. It all depends. If you live in the Lake District, you may want to go up to about 40. Um, when you've done that, you can decorate it up if you want. Draw some other bits and bobs on it. And when you finish doing all that, we'll then need to put a top on it. Now, the reason for having a top is several fold. Number one, it just makes sure that all your rain goes inside instead of dripping down the sides or splashing out or anything like that. Uh, number two, it stops the leaves getting in or insects. And number three, it stops the cat drinking it. So for that, you'll need your lid that you cut off earlier. We're just going to put it on inside out. So we will need some wide sellotape. And for those of you familiar with pie, you will need about three times the diameter. About that much. And you're going to stick that inside the lid with the sticky side facing out. So that's inside the lid with the sticky side facing out. You'll see why in a minute. So we're going to put that all the way around there. Ooh, that wasn't a bad guess. And then we simply sit that inside the top and bend the sellotape down onto the outside. And when you've finished all that, you'll get one that looks like this. So here's one that I've finished with its gauge here, and I've decorated it up a little bit. Here you can see why I teach science and maths and not art. And I'm going to put that outside and just wait for it to rain. So every day you can look at it and just see how much rain has fallen. A few tips for where to put it. Um, outside, obviously, unless it rains in your house, which you never know. It needs to be away from any buildings or fences, because imagine if you had a fence here and the rain was coming this way, you'd, you'd miss out on some of the rain. So don't put it near any buildings or hedges. Don't put it under a tree. And don't put it in full sun either, because you'll get a lot of evaporation then, you can lose some of the water. So um, somewhere out, you know, in the middle of a lawn or something like that, or on a pathway that's not too near anything, not in the full sun. And then every day, see how far up the rain has come, keep a note of that on a piece of paper. And uh, we can do some graphs and stuff with that, but that's for another video. So there you go, your own handy dandy rain gauge.
Mwahahaha! <laughs> Mwahahaha! <laughs>